Our state has a rich history of fine wood craftsmen, but over the years, many of those jobs have gone overseas. Heather Burgess introduces us to a new North Carolina business that's reviving the old tradition of hand-turned wooden luxury writing pens, but with a modern twist. My name is Cass Baltz, and I'm co-founder of Baltz Pens. With every shape, turn, and polish, a little bit of what you might call the American dream is being handcrafted in North Carolina. All the companies that we saw were making just very generic pens made out of one species of wood, so we wanted to do something that was distinct. They're handmade right here by us, and a lot of luxury products these days are machine made in China or abroad somewhere else, so you know, I think that definitely helps it stand out against other products. What started out as just two friends talking about possibilities turned into a new distinctive line of luxury rollerball pins made in Raleigh. We both had an ambition to start our own company, but having the dream and actually going through and doing it are two different things. Before they were business partners, the two 20-something Davidson College graduates met up as teammates on their college soccer team never dreaming they would one day start a luxury pen business together. You know, I think that playing on a team, driving towards a common goal, really builds a lot of camaraderie and trust. It was really important to have Bart along because he kind of kept pushing everything forward. I think the main thing for me is seeing uh, just a, a block of wood that you wouldn't really think twice about become that someone would use as a, or view as a luxury product and, and just seeing that transformation from raw material to, to a finished good was really what inspired me to really keep going with it. After college, the two friends both went on to different jobs until Cass had an idea to go back to his own family's tradition of woodworking. I came back to Raleigh and I was working for my father's cabinet shop and read an article in a woodworking magazine about woodworkers who were making hand-turned pens and sending them over to soldiers in Afghanistan and Iraq, they would use them to write friends and family back home so they'd have something interesting and meaningful to write home with. And so Bart and I started doing some research about companies that were making these hand-turned pens and they were uh, fairly bland and we thought that we could make something that was more interesting. Cass and Bart came up with a distinctive design using two species of wood to give an elegant look to the first line of Balt's fine writing instruments. We had a very general idea of what we wanted the design to look like right away. It's a two-tone wood body and then the unique curved clip. We use uh, African blackwood, paduk, and um, bird's eye maple. So these are really, they're not woods you'd see all over the place. So it's kind of cool to, you know, you look at them, they have interesting patterns and colors and, and they, they really stand out against each other in the pen bodies as well. To get started, the two entrepreneurs got seed money from a family loan but also gained capital through the online fundraising website, Kickstarter. We needed to be able to test it without taking too much risk in terms of you know, getting money and quitting our jobs. So we, it was a perfect medium for us to, to see if people actually liked our product and, and if we could make a business out of it. But the end product didn't come without a little trial and error. For instance, when you're using the roughing gouge, if you go too hard, it can chip the wood and it can break off. Uh, these are kind of just what happened when we were first getting started and practicing making these pens. Hopefully this box doesn't get much bigger. <laughs> but um, yeah, we've, we've come a long way um, from when we first started. With marketing and brand management, Bart and Cass hope to take Balt's fine writing instruments to new levels that reach throughout North Carolina and beyond. For now, it's just survival. Um, and then we're just going to try and grow the company um, as much as we can. You know, our goal is just to make stuff that we think looks really, really nice so we can expand our product line. And then we'd also like to build not necessarily pens, but other handmade items that we can offer people. Both Cass and Bart believe there's a market for their pens, which sell at $150. The company received a great response after being featured in magazine and newspaper articles. The craftsmanship and care that go into each creation seem to resonate with customers. It's just the connection that a person who's buying a product can feel if they can identify well with who's making it. And they know that someone, that one of us two is making the product, you know, that's really, I think, will definitely make it stand out against something that's just made by a machine 
somewhere else. And you know, I think that, that just makes it a more special product for them to buy. For more information on Balt's writing pens, log on to our website at unctv.org ncnow and click on the web links icon.